Atu. Welcome to service. It's such a beautiful Sunday. How is mommy and daddy? I am I trust they are doing great. Now, without wasting time, we are going to go straight into the service. We are going to dance. Put on your dancing shoes. We praise. We worship God. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go into the service. Now, children, are you thankful? I can hear you shout, yes, if you're thankful. Beautiful. Now, let me see you put your hands together. Awesome. Keep clapping. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it and you really want to show it that you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it and you really want to show it that you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, turn around. If you're thankful and you know it, turn around If you're thankful and you know it And you really want to show it That you're thankful and you know it Turn around Let's do it again If you're thankful and you know it Clap your hands If you're thankful and you know it Clap your hands If you're thankful and you know it And you really want to show it That you're thankful and you know it Clap your hands if you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it that you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, turn around. If you're thankful and you know it, turn around. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really
Now let's go. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. He's my friend. He's my friend. He will never leave me. He will never leave me. He's my friend. He's my friend. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. He's my friend. He's my friend. He will never leave me. He will never leave me. He's my friend. Beautiful children. Now children, we are going to learn a new song. And the song is, You are holy, you are holy, you are holy, holy, wonderful, and kind. Are we ready? Beautiful. Let's wave our hands. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Holy, wonderful, and kind. You are Let's give a round of applause to Jesus. Hi kids. It's time for another homework review session. Thank you once again for sending in your homework. As usual, you guys did excellently. So now, let's go over some of them. Can I have a drum roll, please? And what do we do when we want to pray? Eyes closed, hands together. Again, eyes closed, hands together now let's close our eyes our put and put our hands together in Jesus name in Jesus name dear Lord we thank you we give you all the praise and we worship you for all of the good things that you've done for us we thank you for good health we thank you for keeping our mommies and daddies and for healing us when any of us is sick. Lord, we say thank you. Now, dear Lord, as we are about to listen to today's lesson, we ask that you grant us wisdom and understanding. You grant we, the children, and our teachers wisdom and understanding to understand all that we are going to be taught today 
in jesus name we have prayed in jesus name we have prayed and we say very loud amen now let us settle down quietly and listen to today's lesson let us sit down quietly 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 and listen to today's lesson Welcome back from the praise and worship. I'm sure you had a wonderful time. Oh, I was dancing as well. All right. So we continue in um, the topic we've been working on, that the series we've been working on, the early church, and of course, the secret of the church. And another secret of the church is hunger for God. Yes, hunger for God. Is somebody hungry for God this morning? Let's look at somebody at a particular man that was hungry for God in the New Testament called Cornelius. So today's topic is hunger for God and we are looking at Cornelius for our Jesus story. And that can be found in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 10, verses 1 to 48. It's a very long reading, but then it's a very interesting Jesus story, all right? So who is Cornelius? Cornelius is, um, he, was, he, he was not a Jew, really. It was not a Jew. Now, the Jew are the children of God. They are the, they are the, um, the children of Israel. And so they are the ones to be that, that was known as Christians in those days. So Cornelius was not a Jew. He was not a Jew. Yes. But guess what? He believed in God. He loved God so much. He gave hands to people. He supported people around him. Remember last week we did um, caring for one another. So he was doing all of these things. But guess what? He was not born again. And for you to be a, a child of God, you must be born again. You must give your life to Christ and believe God and be born again, really. That's just it. For you to be a child of God. But you can be doing good things. Somebody will say, oh, but he was giving arms, he was doing the good things and all that. But he was not born again. And if you are not born again, you cannot be called a child of God. You can be doing all those good things, but you need to take it a step further by giving your life to Christ, which was what Cornelius did. So, now let me tell you the story. Cornelius slept, you know, he prays, he does good things, he supports people, he cares for other people. And that particular day, he was sleeping. And was he really sleeping? He had a trance, so to say. And then he just saw an angel, an angel came to him and said, oh, you have been a good person, you give harm to people, and all these good things that you have been doing has come all to God. And God, told, the angel told him that he needed to talk to Peter, and Peter, Peter is one of the disciples, and Peter was in another in another um, town. Yes, he was in another town. So the angel told him that he needed to bring Peter to his house, and then Peter would tell him what to do. And then he opened his eyes, and immediately, because he, he believed God and he loved God, immediately when he woke up, he called two of his servants and one of his army that they should go to Joppa. And they should look for a man called Simon Peter. And then he's living in another in a man's house who is a leather worker. Yes, he works with leather. And so he should go there. And then they should go there. They should get Simon Peter. That when Simon Peter comes to the house, he will tell them how and what to do. Which they did. So they traveled. They went to Joppa. And when they got there, before they got there, God went ahead of them and showed Peter, in a, in a dream, to show him some things, talk, brought down a, a, like a blanket, and there was a lot of different animals on that blanket, and God told him to pick one to eat, and he said, no, I cannot do that, um, there are some animals that are, not, that are not clean and all, and God told him that don't cut anything unclean, because everything that I created, everything is good. Now, God was trying to tell Peter that because of the messengers that were coming to meet him. So, God told him all of that. And as he opened his eyes from that dream, from that vision, those people came. The, the servants and everybody that came. And the, the, the three people that came from Cornelius came to the house. And they said, we're looking for him. And because of what God had shown him, he, he knew who they were and what they were there for. So, they slept there the night. And then the next day, they went back to Cornelius's house. So when they got there, 
when they got there, Cornelius told Peter everything that had happened, how the angel had, I mean, had appeared to him, and everything the angel told him. And um, Peter understood what he was trying to say, and then Peter preached to him. He was there with his friends, his family, and because they all believed and they feared God. So they came in, and he came, Peter came there, and Peter preached the word of God to them. And guess what happened? Because they believed and their heart, they were hungry for God, their heart was open. When Peter, as Peter was preaching, the Holy Spirit came on all of them. And guess what? They started speaking in tongues. And the other people too that came with Peter, they heard them speaking in tongues, in different tongues as they were praying. And Peter said, why are we not going to baptize these people? Because when you are giving your life to Christ, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, you have to be baptized in the Holy Spirit as well. And so they, he, he baptized everyone that was there that day. And they were all joyful. They, they were all joyful. So because of their hunger, their hunger for God, they were able to, 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 to understand everything that Peter was saying. And they were ready. They were ready. So Cornelius was hungry for God. So he did not even wait one more day for i mean for him to carry out everything that that um, he was told he just went on immediately to ask for peter and after that they were born again they started speaking in tongues they were baptized so it's very important for us to be hungry for god and when we are hungry for god guess what god comes through for us he's very very happy so when you're hungry for God, God comes through for you and he is very, he's, more, he's always happy when he sees people who are hungry for God. And for Peter and for Cornelius, both of them, it shows they were hungry for God because they both obeyed the instructions that was given to them. Imagine if Peter decided that, ah, no, 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 um, Gentiles are not born again. We are not supposed to talk to them. We are not even supposed to go. Because even in the story, he actually said it that, you know, we are not, Jews are not supposed to come to you and all of that. But God has shown me this. So when we are hungry for God, we obey instructions. When we are hungry for God, nothing is too hard for us. Nothing is too hard for us. So I would ask you one question this morning. Are you ready for my question? Well, you might not answer me immediately, but think about it. Are you hungry for God? If you are hungry for God, like Cornelius, like, like Peter, are you going to obey God? When God tells you what to do, will you do it? It's very important that you do everything that God asks you to do. That shows your hunger. That shows your desire for God. All right? So who is, who is hungry for God this morning? I am hungry for God. And one of the things you do when you are hungry for God, you study the word of God. You pray. You spend time in the presence of God. You are not too young to do that. And guess what? God loves to hear your voice. God loves to hear you pray. God loves to hear you worship Him. So He's interested in all of that. And I'm sure that you all are hungry for God. All right? So please, let us pray. Our God and our Father, we thank you for your word that has come forth. We pray this morning that your word will be made manifest in the life of every child in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, that you will keep them even as, as we are hungry for you. Lord, you will, you, you, will, you will satisfy this hunger in the name of Jesus as we study your word. You will satisfy our heart, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And this word will bring forth 30, 60, and 100 fold in the life of every child in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Our memory verse, our memory verse is taken from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Is somebody saying it after me? Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Blessed are those who are who hunger, bless are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Can we take that again? Yes. Blessed are those, 
Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Make sure you remember your memory verse. All right. children that was beautiful i hope you had an awesome time now do you know that all oh, what you've heard today you must begin to practice it we need to practice them i hope you are hungry now yes i know you are hungry but not for food just yet but for jesus you are hungry to do good hungry to share the good news to people this week Decide that you are going to want more of God. Do more for God. Just like Colinis. But the difference is that you know God now. I love you all. Have a wonderful week. Bye. I'm sure that we all understood everything that we were taught today. And now let us say the grace together in fellowship. And what do we do? When we want to say the grace, we put our right hands on our chest. Again, we put our right hands on our chest. So now, let us put our right hands on our chest and say the grace after me. The grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And we'll say again, surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all of the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. Amen. And the last one, the lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. And yes, I have a goodly heritage of the Lord. Amen. That was awesome, children. See you all next week. Bye.